them they are all idol worshippers. Now that you are a child of God, you need to change that order so that that idol worship life will not be transferred to you and your children. Text is from the book of Isaiah chapter 49 verse 25. Isaiah chapter 49 verse 25. If you are there, you can read Isaiah chapter 49 verse 25. Say, but God say the Lord, this is God speaking. God is the one speaking. Even the captive of the mighty shall be taken away. Even the captive of the mighty shall be taken away. And the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. And the prey of the terrible, God will deliver your children out of their hands. For I will contend with him that contended with thee. Jehovah said he will contend with any man, with any spirit, with any one that is contending with you. And I will save thy children. And he will save thy children. This is the promise of God. God is ready, is ever ready to contend with any one that is contending with you. And he is ready to save your children. But God said, I will not come into a city unless somebody invites me. Jehovah said, who will invite me into that great city? God does not lay his hands on any man suddenly. You are the one to invite him into your case. And when you invite God into your case, your case is settled. Now, number one thing you must do in order for God to save your children. In order for God to save your children, you must deal with the bloodline. You must deal with the bloodline because the blood that flows in your family flows in the vein of your child. You must deal with the bloodline. Ezekiel chapter 16, 44 to 47. The book of Ezekiel 16, 44 to 47. Ezekiel 16, 44 to 47. Behold, everyone that used that proverb. He said, Behold, everyone that uses Proverbs shall use this proverb against thee. They shall use this proverb against thee. Say, Say, as, as is the mother, so is her daughter. That just as the mother lived alive, just as the mother is, so her daughter is also. Thou art thy mother's daughter. He said, You are the daughter of your mother. That looted her husband and her children. They play tricks on their husband. They steal from their husband. They cheat on their husband. And now you as a Christian, you find yourself living that kind of life. After you, I tell you, it will transfer to your children. And thou are the sister of thy sisters. Now your sisters, you now discover that they are still living the same life your mother lived. Which looted their husbands and their children. And every one of you, you all cheat on your husbands. Why? Because there is a negative pattern of life your mother has lived and it is transferred over to you. Your mother was an Hittite and your father an Amorite. And thy elder sister is Samaria. She and her daughters that dwell at thy left hand. And her younger sister that dwell at thy right hand. Is Sodom and her daughter. Now, who God is talking about here? God is talking about the people of Jerusalem. God was talking to Jerusalem. He was telling Jerusalem, Jerusalem, remember what happened to your father. Remember what happened to your mother. You are living the same negative life that your mother lived, you and your sisters. God is the one telling Jerusalem to go out to him that he is the only one that can save Jerusalem. And that if Jerusalem continue to live that pattern of life that the mother has lived, that there is no way Jerusalem will succeed. That Jerusalem will perish. Number three, two thing you must do. In order for God to save your children, you must address ancestral errors of the past. Genesis 49, verse 5 to 7. The book of Genesis 49, verse 5 to 7. Genesis 49. Genesis 49, 5 to 7. Simeon and Levi are brethren. Now, Jacob here was the one speaking. He said, Simeon and Levi, they are brethren. 
instrument of cruelty are in their habitations. They said instrument of cruelty, they are men of anger, the men of the sword. Oh my soul, come not down into their secrets. In this place, Jacob placed a cause on them. Jacob withdrew his hand from their life. Jacob placed cause on them instead of blessings. Unto the assembly, my honor be not the united. They said, unto the assembly, the honor of Jacob, unto the assembly, there will be no honor, meaning they will all be left desolate, the both of them, and their generations forever. For in their anger they slew a man, and in their self way they did down a war. So in their anger they killed innocent people. They killed people in their anger because of what happened to their sister. Cause be their anger, for yeah. it was fierce, and they are rocks, for it was cruel. I will divide them in Jacob, and scatter them in Israel. Look at the cause that Jacob placed on them. And if you read the account of Simeon and Levi, that course that Jacob placed in the book of Genesis 49, it came to pass in their life. Jacob placed a course in them that there is no way that they will stand, that they will all be scattered abroad. And Levi, his children, they inherited that same spirit from him. Moses was an ancestral son of Levi. But Moses, that same negative life that his ancestral father lived, Levi, that life was in him. God told Moses, Moses speak to the rock because of the pressure of the people. Out of anger, he struck the rock. And God told him, Moses, far if you let me, you will see the land, but you will not enter. That error that defeated his father. When his father was about to enter into his possession, that error of anger defeated his father, and that error also defeated Moses. Moses was at the verge of entering into the promised land when that thing shows up. Meaning that thing is a destiny eater, that thing is a destiny killer. If he cannot kill your destiny, he will kill you before you will achieve your destiny. And so you, the parents, you need to stand on behalf of your children because that power, they are also fighting against your children. The children, they are the leaders of tomorrow. And if the parents are not ready to stand for them, that same powers will overcome them. And when anything happens to your children, your life is finished. Because your children, they are the hope of your glory. Your children, they are the one to lift up your name. May the Lord give us understanding in the name of Jesus. Number three thing you must do in order for God to save your children. You must address and deal with the iniquities of the father that is coming upon the children. Exodus chapter 20 verse 5. The book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 5. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. This was God's commandment. God commanded the children of Israel that you should not bow yourself to other gods. Now serve them. They labor and have no rest. The children, they are crying, our neck are under persecution. We labor and we don't eat the fruit of our labor. We have given the hand to the Egyptians and to the Assyrians to be satisfied with bread. Instead of them to have plenty food on their own, they go out to death other nations for food. Our fathers have seen and are not. Now the reason why they are going through this difficulty is because the sins of their father, their fathers have seen, their fathers have died. And we have borne their iniquities. And now the children, they are not the one bearing their iniquity. The error their father committed was in record. And the father is gone. And now that record is brought out. The man who committed this error is dead. What will we do? Let us make the children pay for the errors of their father. Many of us we are suffering for errors we don't know about. Errors that the fathers of God have committed. You see yourself paying for their errors. And if you don't stop that error, your children will continue from where you 
this stuff. Sabbath have ruled over us. Now, because of the errors of their fathers, they are servants, servants, slaves. They are now ruling over them. They are now slaves to their slaves. There's none that do it deliver us out of their hands. They are crying, oh, no one can deliver us out of their hands. Why? Because their fathers have committed error and they are paid for their iniquities. May the Lord deliver the children from every errors of their fathers in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, the one thing you must do in order for God to save your children, you must denounce and break evil vows made by parents, whether father or mother. Judges chapter 11, 30 to 31. The book of Judges chapter 11, verse 30 to 31. The book of Judges, chapter 11, 30 to 31. Then it shall be that whosoever cometh forth of the door of my house. 11, 31. Yes, 11, 30 to 31. And Jephthah vowed a vow unto the Lord. Jephthah, he made a foolish vow. He made a vow unto God. And said, And Jephthah said, if thou shalt without faith to deliver the sheep. Because he wants to fight and win his enemy, he made a foolish vow before God. Deliver the children of Ammon into my hands. He said, God, if you can deliver my enemies into my hands. Then it shall be. He said, I will give you that whosoever, that whatsoever cometh forth of the doors of my house to meet me. When I return in peace from the children. Of Amor shall surely be the loss, Lord, and I will offer it up for a burnt offering. Look at the holy fire he made. And if you read for that, his only daughter was the person that came out to welcome him. And Jephthah, he tore his garment. He regretted. Many of us, our fathers, they have made vows many years ago and they cannot pay. They made vows. And they say, my children will be. My children will be. Many families today, they are suffering from the vow their father has made to idols. You have only made children. Your mother goes to a juju. Please give me a female child. If I can have a female child, this child will be your wife. This child will pay this vow to you and the child will come. You that made the vow, you are dead. Now your children, they are suffering. God expects us to live a holy and righteous life. He wants us to be glorious. By the errors of our fathers, the devil is standing against it. He is standing upon it. He will tell God, God, this family, they are fathers. Look at the error he committed. Look at the error you committed and you say you want to bless this kind of family. It will not work. When the children of Israel, when they came out from Persia, they went back to their homeland and they started building their enemies. They went into record. Record of who? What their fathers have done. They went aside for that record and bring it out. And sent that record to the king of Persia. And the king of Persia ordered the work to stop. There are enemies fighting against you and your children and they are going into your record. The record of your fathers. And in order for you to stop them, you must overrule and cancel that evil record. Many of you, you are paying for bars. You are paying bars you did not do. Your parents, because of their unbelief, because of their wickedness and their cruelty to God, they made vows on your behalf and you, you are not aware. And the worst of all, they will not even tell you before they die. After they die, you will not be the one paying for their iniquity. May the Lord deliver the children in the name of Jesus. Now the one thing you must do in order for God to save your children, you must address and deal with every trade by battle in the realm of the spirits. Lamentation chapter 5, verse 1 to 9. 
every trade by battle in the realm of the spirit made by your parents, you must address it and deal with it. Because many parents today, they trade the destiny and the glory of their children for something. Many parents today, they trade the glory of their children. They say their glory, they say the glory of their children to strangers. That is why their children, they will labor and swell like an elephant and they will be eating like an ant. Why? Because their fathers have sold their glory over to others. Lamentation chapter 5, verse 1 to 9. What is come upon us? The children now, they are crying. God, remember us. Consider and behold our reproach. Look upon us. We are disgraced among men. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. Their inheritance has been given over to strangers because their fathers have sold their glory to other people. Our houses to aliens. Their houses, their wealth has been given to aliens. Their wealth has been given to strangers from far away land. We are orphans and fatherless and mothers and as widows. They are crying, we don't have father. The man who committed the error is no more. We are not paying for the iniquity. We have drunk, drunk in our water for money. These men of them to drink their water freely, strangers began to sell their own property to them. Our wood is sold unto us. They are all wood. They are all wood. They are all company. They are all words. They are not paying for it. Our necks are under persecution. Their necks are under persecution. They borrow and they are not debt us. We labor and have no rest. They labor, they labor and labor, but they don't have rest because their glory has been sold. We have given to the we have given the hand to the Egyptians and to the Assyrians to be satisfied with. Now nah, they are going to beg other nations. Please come and help us. Instead of them, to turn to God. They turn to man. Our fathers have seen and have not. Their fathers, they have seen. Their fathers, they are dead. And we have bought their iniquity. But now the children are the one paying for the iniquities of the fathers. Servants have ruled over us. There is none that do it. Deliver us out of their hand. They are crying, Oh God, no more to deliver us. We got our bread with the peri of our lives. Before they eat, they labor from morning to evening before they eat one square meal a day. Because of the sword of the wilderness. Because of the sword of the wilderness. Because of the errors their father has committed. Because their fathers have sold the glory of their children to others. Many of you, if you go into your record, you will see that because of their penny, your father will sell your destiny to another person. Your father has sold your destiny to others. And you, you are not a Christian. You know you feel your concern. What happened to your father? Everything will happen to you. And it will still come into the life of your children. It will still come into the life of your children. Many of you, your fathers have sold your glory. But today, the Lord is assuring you that there will be a restoration. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The book of Obedea, chapter 1, verse 17 says, For upon my Zion there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. That is God's plan. And our fathers, they have sold our inheritance. They have sold our possession over to others. But today, the Lord will make a restoration in the name of Jesus. Amen. The book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 1. Daniel, chapter 12, verse 1. Daniel, chapter 12, verse 1. And that time, God has answered. God is saying, at an appointed time, Shall Michael stand up? I will send a helper. I will send Michael as a helper to you. Amen. The great prince will stand there for the children of thy people. Michael will be the one to stand for you. He will be the one to stand for your children. Amen. And there shall 
be a time of trouble. And that time, Michael will war against all your enemies. Amen. And he will deliver your children from their hands. Amen. Lastly, the thing you must do for God to save your children from those that are contending with them, you must cry unto the Lord for the life of your children. Lamentation chapter 2, verse 19. Cry unto the Lord for your children. The reason why many children are suffering today is because their parents refuse to stand on their behalf. You a mother, you parents, you know, hey, this is a particular error in my father's house. You know about it, you sat down. Um, my children, they will be, they will grow up. I'm old, I cannot do anything about it. And now you are there. The children that do not know everything, they discover that they have been placed under something, under a cause, under a vow that they did not know. Pray and cry unto the Lord for the life of your children. It is only God that can save. The children, they have a brighter future than you. You parents, you are growing older. The children, they are not ones. They have brighter future than you. They have strength more than you. So you must back them up with prayers. Lamentation chapter 2 verse 19. Arise. He said, Arise, parents, arise. Cry out in the night. Cry out in the night. In the day, in the night, cry out unto God on behalf of your children. In the beginning of the worship, pour out thy heart like water before the face of the Lord. He said, In the beginning of worship, as the day breaks, cry out unto the Lord on behalf of your children. Lift up thy hands so ready for the life of thy young children. He said, Lift up your voice, lift up your face towards God for the life of your children. That faint for hunger, hunger in the top of every street. Your children. They are begging for anger. They are begging because they are hungry, no food. You parents start for your children. Cry unto God on behalf of your children. Day in and day out. Morning and evening, always pray for them. Always pray for them because they are your future tomorrow. If anything happens to them, you are finished. You are finished. Jacob, a father, instead of him to bless his sons, he placed a cause. How many sons did Jacob have? Twelve sons. Out of that one, he placed cause on three. He placed cause on three, the remaining nine, he blessed them. Reuben, who was the first man of Jacob's strength, he made an error. Jacob caused him. And that cause followed the lineage of Reuben. And the men of Reuben, they continued that day and they began to die one after the other. Today, John is dead. Tomorrow, James follow. Next, tomorrow, Matthew. That is how the men of Reuben they will die. But Moses, he delivered them, but he forgot about his story. He went into the record of Reuben, but he saw records. He forgot. And that error, that same spirit, when I find him, I conquered him. But because God was merciful to him before Moses died, God took that spirit out of him. And God gave Moses another spirit. And the Bible recorded that even as Moses was the weakest man on earth, how can the man of anger become the weakest man? We cannot question God. That is how God works. You parents, arise and stand on behalf of your children. It is what you decide to happen in the life of your children that will happen. If you decide ah, let if the children, if they want to go their own way, let them go their own way. We are old and not have strength again. Anything that happens to them, it is for their self. And when the devil hears that, he will take that into record. At an appointed time, he will go and show God your record. God, this is what this. This is what you said. And God will have not that option because you have said, He said, because without your will, I will do nothing. God will remove His hand. And the devil will temper with your children. Many parents today, they are old. They are running in the basket and hey, hey, and the nurse, and the nurse, Matthew, Philip. Why? Because they failed in their duties while they were young. Now that you parents will see how strength to pray, stand on behalf of your 
Because the very few tell pass with their destiny, your own is finished. Stand up on your feet, we want to talk to God. We want to pray. Children don't leave the prayer for your parents, you also pray for yourself. You are going to pray. Every evil error. Every spirit of the blood 